Hello everyone, and welcome to this game called Orcish Inn. This is a pretty simplistic game, very straightforward, and I definitely approve of it. If it ever goes up on Steam for sale, I definitely am looking at getting this game. So what is this game? Let's hide that tutorial menu. This game is a game where you manage an inn visited by different clans of orcs. And it's a beautiful sunny day. It's springtime, the year, the time of the year where hops and bell, belladonnas grow very well. And there is the hawker, the guy who sells us stuff. A nice, wonderful day. So. I'm not getting the best of frame rates for this game right now when I'm recording, but it, it is a nice looking, very simplistic, very green game. Everything is green. The water is slightly green. The grass is very green. The trees are very dark green. <laughs> the trees are covered in green. The rocks are green. The orc is green. They could really go for a little bit more color variation in my opinion. Anyway, this game you manage an inn which you sell beer to orcs and the different orc clans have different types of beer that they enjoy the most. You gotta forgive me if I I don't sound fully in, fully here because I'm catching a cold! Hooray! A cold I'm getting from my girlfriend and my left my left ear feels like I've been I had an earbud shoved in it with really loud music for like six hours. And my nose is at that point where it's almost starting to get congested, but not quite there. It's very annoying. So anyway, we need to make beer to give to orcs, to sell to orcs, and there's this main quest line here thing. I think I made sense in English there. We need to get a hundred units of barley for taxes. That's our first out of five main storyline type quests. Let's get rid of this log. So, we need to get barley for taxes, we need to get beer for orcs to drink, so we have money to improve our inn and get more seeds and build more buildings and all that kind of stuff. And how is this all done? It starts with a farm. So to make a farm, we're going to need to clear out some land with soil. So we go into this menu and we click the land, which makes farmland. Actually before we do that. Uh, Q button open up the seed pouch. We got 32 of each barley and hop seeds, and we got some cotton plant seeds. Now, when you click on these seeds and you press the K button, it will show you the best area to grow these seeds. The barley seeds, they are going to grow great right here. The. Did I said barley seeds at first? I meant hop seeds. But the barley seeds will grow good over here. And the cotton seeds. They don't grow very well anywhere. Cotton seeds, they require something different. So what do all these different seeds require? Well, hops requires wetness and eutrophy. What is eutrophy, you might ask? Eutrophy is basically how fertilized the land is, which you can modify that by dumping dung everywhere. We're not going to worry about that yet barley, it just requires very wet land. The cotton plants, they require average wetness and eutrophy, but most importantly, they require a lot of plants around them to grow. And all these affect w how good a plant you grow. So let's click on that so we have the hops selected and start digging out an area for hops to grow. There's a stump here, let's clear that. Alright. 
So as you may have guessed, the the star size is what determines how good a crop you're going to grow. The bigger the star, the better the crop. We don't have the greatest selection here, but it is good enough to get us some decent barley, or hops. I keep on mixing up the two, and we're going to even include a couple of lower quality ones, just just for the sake of getting more plants done once. Now for the barley. Get all the big ones. We're going to plant them in the big ones as best we can. So we'll just go for all of this. Make sure we have all the big ones in first, and then we can fill in the rest. Alright, and now for the cotton. Cotton, not quite as important. As you see, we did modify the area for cotton a little bit. It's slightly better in these areas now. Not much, but as we plant more cotton plants, it will do a little better. So you can see the stars grow a little bit bigger as I put the cotton plants down. <coughs> so those are the plants that we have. Now we need to go and get ourselves some wood. We have four wood on us, but we need a lot more wood. So we're going to go and chop down some trees. Now you can't chop down the big trees, which is kind of annoying in my opinion. But nothing I can do about it. Maybe when you get a better axe later on you can chop them down. Ah, we're starting to get hungry. Alright, so the gauge is at the bottom. You have sa satiation, which is your hunger, and stamina, which is, you know, stamina. You can restore your hunger by eating things like fish and bread, but your stamina only restores when you relax. There are two ways of relaxing. The obvious way is sleeping, but another way that you can do in the middle of the day is by fishing. Just cast out your line and your stamina will start to restore, and if you manage to catch some fish, then good for you. Let's let the stamina restore fully before we continue on. Good enough. I like that the bobber thing will just chase you around if you don't let it reel in all the way. Alright, let's go to you. Can't break those rocks yet, so they're just going to have to stick around there. Alright, so we, we chopped down some trees. Now, you might think that it's a finite resource because you don't get anything like saplings, but no, you actually we actually do is you go to this menu here and you get a wood pile and the wood piles you throw on the ground and eventually they will turn into a new tree and we got some stuff soon we will be able to start growing or brewing some beer But until then, let's head to the to the inn. Ignore that stupid tree ant thing. And we're gonna tell our furnace how to cook iron. We put in a log and we put in an iron. This is a cool feature in this game. Now you only have room to put one of each item in, but if you have a chest or some pipes connected to it. You can put all the items in this chest here, and when it's finished with one of these, here we'll watch this one first. And there we go. It automatically pulls in a new iron ore, 
and it automatically dumps the iron into here. So this game already has automation built into it, and you can check where the machines take items in by clicking on them. They have white arrows on the ground, so if you have a pipe or a chest next to there, it will automatically pull whatever it can. Pipes, by the way, connect everything together. These are output pipes, the gray ones. The brown ones are input pipes, and the mixed ones are both. They're more expensive though. Okay, we should have some crops grown. Uh, not quite, they're not quite ready. That's fine, it's going to be night time, so we're going to have to sleep, otherwise we will pass out from stamina loss. And it's never good to pass out, so let's go to sleep. And it's morning now. And on the left side here we have notifications that the furnace has stopped producing because it is missing iron ore, which is fine because we don't need iron too horribly in the beginning. But most importantly, we now have loads of crops, and you know they're ready because they will sparkle. So you grab your harvest sickle, and you're supposed to get seeds from these, but it's depending on how mature and how long the crops have been ready to harvest. I think I usually harvest them far too soon, but this game is still in pre-alpha stage, so it might not even have that in there yet. Hops. I'll plant some new hops. There we go. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Ah, and the trees have grown. Good. So we can chop down those trees whenever we need more wood. Alright, so how do we go about getting our first batch of beer going? First, let's grab ourselves a thing of rainwater. There we go. Now we, now we check what clan we are serving. We are serving the Eye of the Mind clan. And what they would like is the taste of barley, a, a slight tint of darkness, no full body, a little bit of acerbity, and basically zero alcohol and strength. Alright, so, in order to control the Tint of Darkness, it's all dependent on how much water you put in. By putting in two droplets of water, we get one Tint of Darkness. If you put in three, you get another one, and another, 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 scoop it all out. And there we have it. And then over here, I will just put one drop of water in here because that will give us only one full body. And the rest of the water can get dumped back into the bucket. Alright. Next, we need to throw in some wood and some barley. Which, I need to go and get some more wood. go. It's plenty of wood. Oops. Do not click on your machines with your axe. You will damage them and then it will cost you, cost you some money to repair them. Alright, so let's toss in one bit of wood and one bit of barley and you know you've done it right when you see little popcorn kernels popping out of the bottom and it'll automatically dump dump the malt into here. And to make sure that it has plenty of resources to keep going with this process, we're going to dump in some logs and some barley. If you hold shift, you can put in 10 at a time, by the way. 
Alright, so we will leave that going for now and check on our crops, see if there's anything more to harvest. Not quite. Alright, so nothing more to harvest, so let's head up to meet the hawker. He should be in position right now. He comes around midday, which you can check right here. Oops. Got myself stuck here. And here he is. And first time you meet him, you get a few quests. He would like some fuel of any quality of wood. It's Valentine's Day thing. We're going to take the fuel one, which is pretty easy to do. Just grab your axe, go chop down a couple trees, and you got all the wood you need. There we go. Complete, and we're done. So, the hawker allows us to buy different types of seeds. See over here, he's got hop seeds, barley seeds, belladonna seeds, and cotton plant seeds. We are going to buy some belladonna seeds. A couple thousand dollars worth, along with a few more barley seeds and some more hop seeds. Cotton seeds, I'm not going to worry about yet. Oh, he also sells things in this main menu here like yeast, which is actually what we need. I'm just going to buy some crap quality yeast. And we're good. Oops, I missed the fork in the road to go to my inn. Here we go. Alright, so how are we doing? Do we have malt yet? We do have malt. I will take this malt. Alright, so you take the malt with the desired properties you have. In this case, a slight tint of darkness. Put it into here, add some wood. And we start getting... We start the process to get something called wart. Just drop in some more wood. Alright, so after that is done, we will get the beer going. But before that, let's take a look at the belladonna seeds, because the belladonna seeds are quite interesting. They, they do require some fair amount of wetness and eutrophy, but mainly they require windbreaking. So anywhere you can plant them where wind is not going to mess with them too much, like around these trees for instance, or the stones, that is a good spot to plant them. Now you can make a barrier yourself, like a wooden fence or a stone fence. Me, I'm going to try making a stone fence right here. And we'll go up one more right there. So that's added a little more area where wind is not going to affect the plant. So let's go ahead and get this turned into some farmland. There we go, it's looking pretty good. I'll even plant a couple over here. Grab our belladonna seeds. And here we have good quality area to plant them in. There we go, we only have one left. Which I guess I could plant somewhere, but I don't feel like it. Ah, and we have some cotton plants ready for harvesting. Let's get these harvested. Now they're not great quality, but they're good enough.
And notice that we've somehow managed to change the area for the barley to be planted. Before it was mainly over here, now it's come into the cotton plant area. As farming in this game is fairly interesting. Because you can do all kinds of things to affect it. Like, for instance, if I were to grab a bucket of water and then bring it over here, I could dump water over the area and make wetter farmland. Or with the dung, I can make it... I can increase some of it. I don't think we have any dung yet, though. In order to make dung, you need to make compost, which is this thing here. Let's just throw a compost thing here. Now, I've never bothered to try to make dung yet, so I don't know how it's done. But that's what the tutorial menu is for. Which, by the way, there's a lot of tutorial. 150 some pages worth of telling you what to do. Let's see, can we get to the part with dung? Because I would like to know how to make some dung. Comfort, taverns, quests, clans, upgrades, pairing, fishing, shortcuts. Oh, sorry, I was, I was a little off. 160 something. Ah, yes, yeah, so you fill the compost box with crops like barley. So that's how you make dung. We won't worry about it. We should have some wart now, though. Let's go ahead and see. Ah yes, we got a couple wart. I will take one of these. And now, we're going to dump them into here. So the wart, we put here. Let's add the wood. As for the other two things, let's press F1 and open this up again. We need a little bit of acerbity and no alcohol strength. So, acerbity is controlled by this. So, two hops will give us some acerbity, and one yeast will give us no alcohol strength. And that is enough for us to start making. Ooh, excuse me. Start making beer. Alright. Press one to get out of that menu. Interact with this box. We will dump our yeast and some hops in here and we are set beer is being made and I just have to wait fortunately it's gonna be nighttime soon so I could just go take a nap let's see there was a button to press to bring let's see it's not that Alt. we hold alt it opens this up And let's see what's inside of everything. There was something else you could press, though. I don't remember what. Oh well, let's get our comfort back up a bit. Now you actually can catch fish when you're doing this. So a little. I find it a little difficult to know exactly when there's actually fish biting. I think it's got something to do with the little specks. Let's see, we ran out of something there. Hmm, out of barley, I take it. No? Out of water somehow? Somehow we're out of water. Which doesn't make any sense because we got all the pipes here for the water. That was interesting. Might have been a bug, who knows. Anyway, let's get to sleep and in the morning we will have everything we need 
for beer. And it is now morning. And we should have some beer in our faucet. Let's see. Ah yes, we got 20 units of beer. So let's go ahead and open up the inn. Fans with permission to visit will now come to visit the inn, drink some beer, give me some money, and get the heck out of my life again. And you can get occasional quests from your from your patrons as well, which is kind of neat. I need to take a drink of tea because my throat's killing me. nice thing about the tavern is that you don't need to actually man it yourself. The orcs, they will come on their own, grab beer from the faucet, and then take a seat and be done with it. And we did get one quest. Let's see, hungry. I, I tried doing this quest when I was learning the game earlier. I couldn't, couldn't figure out how to give them a fish. Let's see, they want me to drink a beer, so let's go ahead and drink a beer. We get a drunkenness meter, which slowly depletes. There we go, we completed a quest. But I didn't accept it, so that didn't count. Let's grab another beer, drink it up. There we go. Quest completed. Who do we turn that into? Hello? The person who wanted that quest walked away. I can't turn it in now. Oh well. So we're producing a good amount of beer. And if we press F1, we can see how well this clan likes what we have. And so far, they're enjoying it. These meters will fill up over time, and once they reach 70%, you unlock a new clan that you can serve with different beer requirements. Now you might wonder how these barrels fill up. They're rain barrels. Eventually, it rains in the game, and all these barrels fill up with water. Pretty simple. So, oh, that's basically this game in a nutshell. And if I was feeling better, I would continue playing this game, but right now, I kind of want to go take a nap. So I think I'm going to end up doing that. And, you know, I think I will turn this into an actual series, because it's got some, some gameplay to it yet, that I have yet to do. So we'll, we'll probably pick this up in another video. Hey, I think I got actual barley seed from that. Cool. Maybe I just need to wait a couple days after my barley's grown before I can harvest it. Oh well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will come back to this game when I'm feeling better and... Or talking for hours on end is not going to ruin my throat and make me a crabby, irritable person. So, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. I will see you in another video. Take care, guys, and goodbye.